They're held as expected, but do we perceive it to be a hawkish or a dovish hold? It was a really interesting decision because everybody was expecting this to be a hold of 11.25% for a second meeting, already the highest since 1998. But we're watching the statement very closely to see if there was any change in the language. Investors, economists had already expected that perhaps we could see a dovish tilt, especially if we're projecting that the central bank could start cutting interest rates starting in April. But that didn't happen. We're talking about the statement containing this language, including that inflation remains very high and its convergence to the 3% target is still subject to risks. Of course, we're still very far away from that 3% target. We're talking about 12.8% in December, already a little bit of an easing, but still at the highest in decades. Tough to move to cut rates, but how much is the appreciation of the peso expected to help inflation, inflationary pressures, Sherry, at least on the margin? That is a thing that has changed in the macro picture here in Chile. We're talking about the peso appreciating about 20% in the last three months. And of course, last year, the central bank had to intervene in the markets because the peso had fallen to record lows during the summer. So we are watching very closely about how this really helps those inflationary pressures. Uh, already, we are seeing some changes when it comes to market perception of this country, Chilean assets. BTG Pactual now putting uh, Chile as a buy in their call because they like the valuations. They also think that the stock market fall has gone too far. JP Morgan also has an overweight in Chile. Of course, a lot will depend for JP Morgan on how fast we see that easing and cutting of interest rates, which uh, JP Morgan expects it to be at the fastest in Latin America this year. We will continue to see what happens next because um, as I spoke to Governor Rosana Costa here, I'm at her office, and they had the monetary policy decision upstairs today. There's a lot at stake.